Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I am on my way to La Manche Provincial Park. I'm going to uh, spend my first night of the season under the clouds because I don't think there's going to be any stars tonight. It doesn't look that way. It's going to be a little chilly, but I got, I'll pick up a couple bundles of wood to keep me warm while I'm uh, sitting around outside lounging. But uh, either way, I'm looking forward to this, a night to myself, a night of silence, of peace, and quiet. That's what I need right now. And uh, so I'm on my way to, uh, to go find that. So enjoy the uh, views and scenes, because I'll show you a few uh, communities on my way to La Manche, just to keep the uh, ride a little bit uh, entertaining. So uh, anyway, enjoy the ride, and I'll see you in the park. Alright, we made it. Here we are. Not sure which, uh, if there's a left or a right side. <laughs> Looks like I went in the wrong way. wasn't a bad ride down. It was, uh, wasn't too cold, hovering around 12 degrees. Look at that, nice area. On the other side of that pond to the right, that's where my campsite is. Pretty sure. At least that's what it looks like from up here. I'm six minutes early. Check-in is at 3 p.m. Let's see how nice they are. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anybody here. Not sure what to do. Well, 
I'm going to go on to my campsite. There's no sense sitting here because I don't know how long they're going to be. It could be five minutes. It could be an hour. And there's no cell service, so I can't call. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go offload my gear. Shouldn't be too busy here tonight. It's a Thursday night. The long weekend doesn't start until tomorrow. Although some people probably uh, did take the day off to get away early. At least that's my hope. Now I wonder, is Site 70 the same one that I stayed in the last two times? I hope it is. It looked like it was from the website, but it might not. Maybe whoever is supposed to be at that front gate will be there in six minutes. <laughs> 32, oh, I guess this way. 70. Should we get lost in here now? Do not enter. 15. Not very busy, which is good. 74 to 82 is to the left. So I'm obviously to the right, 74. Seventy two. Seventy one. And yeah, sure enough, seventy is my spot. Made it. Yay. Now I'd offload some of my gear and then uh, go back to the front gate again. Well, I hope my stuff is safe there, just laid on the table like that. It's pretty easy to grab and take off. It's not too busy. I should be safe while I make a quick run to the front entrance again. Fingers crossed. It's nothing worse than waiting around. I just want to set up and get settled. Especially once I start medicating with my cannabis because I can't ride then and uh, It's too far of a lock a walk to go get some firewood plus then you gotta lug it back Still empty. 
Not sure what to do. And I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure there's no uh, cell phone service. Nope, not even a bar. So I'm going to head back to my site and uh, set up my tent. And then I'll come back and try one more time. I would assume there would be somebody around to check people in. Last year when I was here, it was the same thing. There was nobody there for the longest time. Oh well, no big deal. Just a small inconvenience. Besides, all I'm at now is racking up kilometers on my motorcycle. <laughs> Circling around the park. There's a few more people around now though. Or more vehicles. All right, I finally got it set up. Took me a little, uh, took me a few tries to get the tent going. Kept uh, putting things on backwards. That's it, first time in about a year, I guess, since I set it up. So that's my excuse. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a little tour of, uh, of where I'm staying tonight. So this right here is my campground, number 70. My transportation. My accommodations for the night, two-man Teton Ultra Sport, I think it's called. No sleeping bags, just using uh, quilts that I use with the hammock. And over here, got my chair set up for the fire that I'll be having soon. I even brought on one of those logs just in case they had no firewood, but I don't need it now. Got my steak thawing out for supper. 
and a dining area. All set up, got my stereo, my light, my e-reader, coffee, and my cannabis. That's all I need. I don't know if you remember when I was riding in and I pointed across that lake and said over there is where my campground is. Well, over there is where I was when I said that. <laughs> I was right. I'll go down and show you. See if I can make it without falling. Nice thing is there's no mosquitoes around right now, which is good. I should have brought something to hold on to, because I'm going to see myself falling there. Maybe. So this is what is below my tent site. Big beaver dam over there. The last time I was here, all I could hear was frogs croaking all night long, all morning. Kept me awake the whole night. They were, uh, they were plentiful. It's pretty quiet right now, so maybe I'll just hear the little birds and that water running in the background. That'll be good. All right. I had to get back up out of here. Nothing to hold on to. Except roots. I'm making it. <laughs> I've climbed worse, although I was a lot younger and had less aches and pains. Well, there's squirrels around. He better not bother me. Oh. Now I can relax. Oh, can't wait for that fire. All I brought is water. It's a lot warmer than I expected. But that could be from setting that tent up. It's hard work when you screw it up and you gotta redo it over and over. Well, it's 4.30. I'm gonna start cooking supper, I think. I got steak and I got a slice of bread. <laughs> Going all out. Anyway, you'll get to see how this uh, nice uh, fire maple stove works with, uh, with an actual pot instead of uh, or an actual frying pan instead of the uh, this pot itself because this is great for boiling and this little thing goes on top to uh, so you can use whatever you want to uh, fry or boil or cook whatever you want yeah And I brought a fresh tank of uh, propane this time. So I should be good, because this steak could take a while. <laughs> we'll see. There, what next? This, this thing. See how that just uh, sits on top of that like that? And then you can lay your frying pan on there. It's perfect. Well, while that's cooking, I might as well get some uh, splints and stuff ready for, uh, for later. Actually, that should be good enough. I got a few smaller ones here as well to go on top. Should be all right. 
got my little base there. Should be good. Now I just gotta wait for dark. Let's check on that steak. It's coming along. Oops, better hold it on. This one's gonna be medium rare, I think, because it's pretty thick. All right, I think she is done. Good enough for me. All right, time to try this out. See how it tastes. Forgot to bring a plate. Oh, so nice and tender. Look at that. It is deadly. Well, that's it. Can't eat no more. I'm stuffed. Time to do my dishes. See if it's on. Yes, that's good. It's a pain in the ass trying to clean dishes with cold water. Taste test time. Too hot. All right, time to get this going, because I'm freezing. I'm gonna cheat. Use uh, cotton and Vaseline to get it going. And I brought some splints from home. From right straight from Fox Cove, nice and dry. There we go, that should stay going. Well, supper's done. My belly's full, had a coffee in me. So I'm going to have a little joint and sit back and enjoy this fire that I got going. Sorry, I blew into the mic. It was probably loud. Yeah, this is nice. Here in the wood crackling from the fire. There's a little uh, river over that way, or a dam. I can hear the water running. It's nice and mellow. It's grounding. A few birds chirping. There's a squirrel around somewhere that keeps chirping at us every now and then, or chirping at me every now and then. But he's okay. I don't mind squirrels. And there's no mosquitoes. So that's a bonus. Ah. 
Ah, you can hear the birds. Peace and quiet. Can't beat that. I brought my speaker with me so I can play some music if I want. Haven't turned it on yet. Don't need to. I got music surrounding me. <laughs> I know, that's cheesy. But it's true. Yeah, you really can't beat that. There's that squirrel. So being the awesome outdoorsman that I am, I don't need to use this now. I brought it just in case they didn't have firewood here. And also in case I couldn't get this fire started because I didn't know how wet the wood would be. Anyway, as you can see, I'm good. One of the things about having cannabis prescription is you get the munchies every now and then. So I got these guys. Yeah, it's probably not the best choice right now, but it's the only choice I have. So I'm going to have some of these along with this amazing, tasty bottle of, yeah, water. I need to start bringing a beer with me or something besides water. Just, well, on camping trips anyway, where I'm not riding afterwards. That way I can have a beer by my fire. Maybe I'll start doing that. Get that Smuggler's Cove brand, uh, what's it called? Contraband? No, I can't remember the name of it, sorry. Yeah, they'll do. It's definitely not a beer. Here's a little look at the lake again this evening before it gets dark. Not sure if you can hear it in a microphone or not, but there's a little waterfall, kind of. It's kind of like a waterfall. You want to see one of the coolest features of La Manche Provincial Park? Here, I'll show you. See my phone? Whoops. 
zero signal. There's no cell phone reception here whatsoever. So you are totally disconnected here. And that is a good thing. I need a break. Everybody needs a break every now and then. I need to disconnect. So I got these empty bags here that the wood comes in. I could easily walk it over to the garbage can, but I'm going to try something first. It's probably dumb. We'll see. See how it burns. It might not burn. I think it's just like a plasticky kind of material. So it's probably just gonna melt. With my luck, it'll be extremely combustible and just blow up in my face. Well now, this is exciting. I don't think it wants to melt either. Oh, something's happening here. Alright. She's starting to flame up. It's like it's getting sucked in. <laughs> I don't care. It's mesmerizing. I think I'm going to burn the other bags as well. Just... Woo! <laughs> yeah, that startled me. It's a cool feature about this bag. Is if you lay it down there, you stuff it in quick enough, <laughs> yeah. Keeps getting caught in my stick. But if it gets over the flames in the back, it just disintegrates. There's your excitement for tonight. I haven't got a lot of wood left either, do I? What am I gonna do when that's gone? I'll be so bored. Do you wanna know one of the other cool things about being out here in the woods in a campground? Is when you need to pee, <laughs> you just gotta walk over to the bushes. Just like that. Nature is great. It's wonderful. And yes, I have hand sanitizer. <laughs> Too much. Okay, now it's safe to eat another cracker. Got to bring the recycling back and that generator is going to drive me nuts just to let you know.
you can't have a fire and not poke it. It's like an unwritten rule somewhere, I think. Nothing like a good poke. <laughs> Site 70, come and join me. You just gotta be quiet. <laughs> no conversations, no music. You just gotta sit back and observe the fire and listen to it. It's a simple rule. Yes, I broke down and turned on the stereo. Even though the uh, generator is kind of numbing, I just had to put the music on to kind of distract me from it a little bit. This is a uh, pretty cool uh, little lamp that I got. It has, uh, as you can see, it can go quite bright. It has a lower setting. It also has a nice orange glow, which is what I usually like. And it also has like a flickering candlelight setting. And even when you turn it off, as you can see, when it's left outside in the sun or in the daylight, it uh, glows in the dark at night. It's a pretty cool lamp. Oh, now you can see me. Where do we want it? This way, this way. There we go. In front of me. Is it bad that right now, the thing that I want to do most is go to bed and go to sleep? It's only nine o'clock, 9.05 actually. And I'm, I'm just exhausted and just want to crash because I really need sleep. I've, uh, that's one of the reasons I came out here actually is because uh, over the last few weeks, it could be from medication changes, I'm not sure, but over the last few weeks I've been having a lot of sleep issues and uh, it takes me a little while longer to go to sleep but as soon as I wake, it doesn't matter what time, it's like I'm wide awake, my mind is, I'll stay in bed for a few more hours trying to get back to sleep, but it, uh, it doesn't happen. It's uh, one of those things where as soon as you start to doze off, you feel yourself dozing off and that kind of wakes you back up again. So I've been dealing with that uh, in several weeks of getting probably three or four hours a night less sleep than I'm used to. It, uh, it takes a toll on you. And uh, I've been going through a lot of anger issues because of it, or at least I assume it's because of it. It could be from the med changes as well, I don't know. But uh, going through a lot of anger issues and uh, I just need to get away, not so much from, well, for myself, but mostly I just uh, like to give my family a break because they're probably sick of seeing me sitting around being miserable and angry all the time. But uh, for me as well, because I'm just overstimulated. It's like everything drives me crazy. Every single sound, every noise, every light. Doesn't matter who it comes from or where it comes from. It, it triggers me and it really takes a toll on me. And uh, it does something. I don't know exactly what, or not exactly what. I know what it does, but I just don't know how. I don't understand it. But anyway. That's why I'm out here, to try to level some of that, bring some of that back down and uh, kind of regroup my mind, reset, I don't know. So far it's not really working out that well. I mean, yeah, I'm distracted and I'm having an okay time here by myself, but uh, at the same time my mind has just still gone nuts. 
and uh, I don't think no matter how much nature I get I don't think that's gonna change so hopefully maybe by the morning things will be different maybe I'll actually sleep in who knows maybe this is what I need but uh, either way I don't expect any miracles but I do need to break and I think everybody needs to break so that's why I'm out here and right now I just want to go to bed I brought my e-reader with me I'm going to start a new Stephen King book probably not the best place to start it out in the woods camping but uh, hey that's <laughs> it adds to the ambience or the experience I guess so that's what my plan is once I'm done with this fire I'm gonna go in and probably read for a while before I pass out because once my meds kick in I usually fall asleep okay but fingers crossed I'm uh, out for a little longer than I usually am I almost wish I only bought one bag of wood now taking forever. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Make it bigger. Bigger fire. Burn faster. I'm all set now. Got my headlamp on. Perfect. <laughs> Why well, she's burning good tonight. That's for sure. <laughs> what a heat coming from that. I'm gonna miss it when I go in the tent. There's one thing I'm kind of worried about. I hope you guys don't think I'm hiding all the excitement from you. That I'm doing all these exciting things and activities uh, all behind the scenes while you're watching this boring stuff. Because <laughs> this is it. This is all I'm doing. Just sitting in front of the fire. That's it. That's all I got to show you. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe it'll be exciting the next trip I go on. Who knows? But this one, sorry. <laughs> Guess what it's time for? No, not sleep. Not yet. It's time for the final piece of wood. It's the last one. Nice piece of birch. Watch how fast the bark goes up on this. Ugh. Damn my eyes. Good old bird bird. Wow, it's a lot of heat. <laughs> That one log. Burn, baby, burn. Almost bedtime. Might as well give it one final poke for good measure. Just to say I did. Good night, Wood. <laughs> Yay! All done. Now I can watch it die. Alright. Let's find somewhere for one final pee. Follow the glow stick. That'll give you a hint. Glow stick, turn right into that bush. There, that's done. That means I should be able to get a couple hours more sleep, right? <laughs> that's the hope. Anyway, it's nothing worse than crawling inside your sleeping bag and having to get up in the middle of the night. So I don't even know why I'm explaining this to you. It's common sense, right? I peed so I didn't have to get up in the middle of the night. There we go.
pre-bedtime snack. So the fire is still going, as you can see. The way that thing is going, I'm probably going to be stood here for another hour. So I'm going to start throwing water on it. <laughs> Nah, can't do that. I gotta stop being impatient. I'm here for this specific reason. To sit and enjoy a fire in peace and quiet. And here I am complaining because the fire is taking too long. I'm good now. I'll relax for a bit before I go in. <laughs> it's hard to believe or comprehend all the different chemical processes that went on to transform two bags of firewood into a pile of coal and ash. I'll be thinking about that all night now. All right, guess what? It's bedtime. It's hard to do it with one hand. <laughs> Put it all the way. There we go. I'm inside my tent, as if I had to tell you that. Anyway, here's a little tour of where I'm staying. Not much of a tour. There's the back corner, my pile of junk. Where I keep my medications, my book, speaker, phone, that kind of thing. Nice little thingy up here to hold some stuff, like my socks and my headphones. And my fancy lamp. With my cool pillow. Yeah, this is my home for tonight. So I'm going to lay down and read for a little bit, I think. Yay, my bedtime snack. Cannabis oil, indica, and my Zopaclone, and anti-anxiety meds. Yay. That's better than those crackers. Forget how to start it. Ah, yes, power button. Prologue, Blaine. Whoops, gotta put on my reading glasses. Because I can't make that out. Let's see how these do. Cheap little things. <laughs> well, now, let's try a book and see if it helps. Imagine that, I can read. Am I the only one that can hear that noise? Probably, because I'm the only one here. Not sure if it's a loon or an owl. I think it's an owl. Yeah, it's definitely an owl. This is going, woo, woo. <laughs> Instead of that, whatever that whistle, weird whistle thing is that the loon does. All right, back to Stephen King. I probably don't need that big old light on. I think that's just for camera purposes. Because with it off, you wouldn't see me. reading anymore. I'm going to lie down and 
fall asleep to the sounds of that owl. It's actually kind of relaxing. It's definitely way better than the last time I was here when all those frogs were just going rock, rock, rock all night. Oh man, yeah, they were, they drove me nuts. Didn't think I was going to survive it, but I did. <laughs> Surrounded by frogs everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to sleep now. So, see you in the morning. I just realized something funny. Well, not really funny, but uh, kind of... Uh, yeah, maybe funny. Here I am, out in nature, and I can hear owls, and I can hear the water running and all that down over the hill there but I still got my phone going with nature sounds so I'm listening to nature sounds out in nature that doesn't make sense does it I think nature sounds isn't loud enough for me right now so uh, I have to use my artificial nature sounds. <laughs> yeah, I, I was almost asleep and that thought hit me and uh, I had to share it. Sorry. Good morning. <clears throat> it's uh, time is it now? Seven thirty in the morning. I've uh, wasn't too bad of a night for the most part. I woke up at four a.m. because I needed to pee and it was cold. I as you can see, I got my fleece back on because I was stripped down to just my underwear and that little thin blue quick dry shirt. But at 4 a.m., that uh, it became necessary to uh, put another layer on. Even got my toque on. She dropped down pretty cold. And it was a struggle getting out of the, getting dressed to get out of the tent to piss before I pissed myself. Yeah, I didn't know if I was going to make it. But anyway. So I woke up at 4 for that and then I woke up again around 6. And I've been awake pretty much since then. Just uh, lots and lots of birds flying around. And they're doing their thing. And it's uh, it's weird. It's uh, if I was home, and this was some other noise waking me up, I'd be pretty pissed off, frustrated. But it's kind of uh, I don't know. It's nicer. It's it's a softer wake up when you're out in nature and you're hearing all the sounds like this. So, I'm just going to hang out here for a few more minutes. Because it's too cold to get out. It's actually pretty cold. It must be close to zero right now. Or two degrees, probably. Can't check because I got no cell service. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing, too. Like, I hear sounds I'm always listening for sounds and of course the birds the water and all that stuff doesn't register it's there but it's it's relaxing but there's a camper next door and I can hear footsteps inside it and it's like very subtle like a very subtle thump 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 kind of a sound but it's enough that it 
registers for me and that's what I focus on so uh, yeah so anyway I'll see you in a second nothing worse than taking off warm pants to throw on cold jeans in the morning it was torturous putting those jeans on I think I might need my puffer jacket too this morning we'll see once I get out, who knows, maybe it's toasty outside in the tent, though I doubt it. Well, might as well go out and get the coffee going. And hang out for a few minutes before I do my cleanup, which is a pain. That's the worst part of camping. Well, worst part is packing. No, the worst part is repacking after you uh, use it all. <laughs> all right, coffee. Oh. There's no graceful way of getting out of tents. That's for sure. Not a bad morning out. Cool, but nice. Taste test time. Taste is good. A little too hot though, as usual.
It's definitely not a breakfast sandwich, but it'll work to get me home. <laughs> As part of my due diligence and cleaning up, gotta throw this thing in the garbage as well. Can't leave this behind. All right, it's time to clean up this mess. It's way too much stuff to clean up. Just like magic, all cleaned up and ready to go. Well, that's it for another camping trip. First one of the year. It was a success. Could have used an extra hour, extra hour or two of sleep, but I'm not gonna whine about that right now. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy a little bit of this because I know it's uh, it has to be boring watching this because all I'm doing is sitting around a fire and just being mindful and that kind of thing, goofing around a little bit. But uh, I do appreciate you watching, and uh, I'll see you on the bike in a minute. Time to go. No drones permitted. See? Glad I didn't bring my drone. Wasn't planning on anyway. Just because it is a provincial park, but that's it. Some people gotta be told. Those are the kids riding around at 7 a.m. this morning. <laughs> That's it. They're having fun. That's what they're here for. Not everybody's got to be grumpy like me. There's the official checkout. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now. Because you've seen this route enough as it is going up the southern shore. So again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.